Hello everybody, this is John Corey Jackson of BullsWeb.net. Um, Chicago Bulls fan. I have been a Chicago Bulls fan since the early 90s. Guess I'm kind of dating myself a little bit, but it's alright. Love the Chicago Bulls. Even stuck with them through the lean years. I'm not a fair weather fan, so... It's been tough the last couple of seasons on us um, as Bulls fans. A little bit of hope. A little bit of hope. So, Bulls fans, I have a question for you. Did Gar Pax do enough to keep the job? <laughs> I know. I know. Did they do enough to keep the job, right? <laughs> the bar set really, really low. I think, man, I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to start speaking with my heart instead of my head. But um, <laughs> did they do enough to keep their job? Good trade getting out of Porter. Um, I know we have Robin Lopez as a vet. And he does a good job. I think he does a good job of he's always worked hard. The Lopez guys are always kind of hard workers from what I've seen. So, it was a very, very, very good move to get out of Porter. I think they gave the team a little bit of energy that they needed to go forward. Um, wow. I've been trying to, I've been trying to speak up for Garpax. I really have. Um, still don't know how long this rebuild is going to be. We'll, um... Got some good young players like Wendell Carter Jr. I think he's going to turn out to be really, really good. And the Porter's trade actually opened up that space where he can play more minutes. So I think that was a good thing. Getting Porter out, Portis out of the way, excuse me, not Porter. Portis out of the way where Porter can come in and that WCJ can get those minutes. Um, The coaching change really, I, I don't he seems like a old school, hard nosed guy, which I think the Bulls need. They need somebody to kind of work them. Um, suffered through a couple of really, really bad losses earlier this year, but lately the team kind of turned it around a little bit. I know the record's still horrible. Um, has a lot of work to do. The team's got a lot of work to do in the off season to get these guys better. But it's looking up. We're marking in. We got Dunn that's coming along. I just hope he he's been a little bit injury prone. Um, but I think he still has a lot of potential upside in him. Just gotta continue to give him a chance and give him time to grow. Um Yeah, so I think we can bet around marking in. Levine, as long as that leg stays healthy. Um, he's been playing well. I think he should, um, I don't know if he's going to get it, but I think he should get most improved. I think he is showing that he can be a leader for Chicago Bulls. And I was worried about that, um, for him coming in, um, being, a, having a lot of pressure on him. So we'll just have to see how it goes. But back to my original question, the guard pack is doing enough to save the jobs. Um, I'm say yeah. I'ma say yeah. Um with the way the season's gone lately, after the all star break, the team kinda kinda seemed to turn around a little bit. But even with that being said, it's still a long way to go. Um just how long of a rope we give them, I don't know. Wow, but they've not made the best choices. Um, sign a couple of bad contracts. Hoiberg wasn't probably the best coach at the time that was available, but the team still got him. Um, yeah, but I think they did good, and the reason why I'm giving I want to give Garpacks leeway is because they gave what they gave up in the trade and what they got back. 
got Jimmy Butler, gave him away. But at least you got a building blocks now that's showing dividends for the team somewhere. So I think they probably saved their jobs. Um, I'm a fan, but man, it's it, like it's been a long time since the Bulls felt like they really could contend. Even with the Derrick Rose years, I just never felt like the the team did well, had great regular seasons, but I just felt like we weren't close enough to a title contention all the way. So we'll just have to see how it goes, guys. Um Chicago Bulls has been Chicago Bulls fans has been rough. The years are adding up. Teams are getting better. Um hopefully we can get better. Hopefully the team is trending up. Boiling to have a whole off season this year. We'll just have to see how it goes with him. Just a lot of, of scrutiny and embarrassment early on so we'll see how the team catches up and comes back from this stronger this year well next year excuse me next season i expect the bulls to be contending for the seventh or eighth spot next year i'm gonna be honest um even especially when it comes to orlando charlotte depending on what happens with kemba um Detroit. So those are the teams I think you have to look at, at least as an early indicator, in my opinion, of the teams we got to catch up to and be contending with for a seventh or eighth spot. So with all that being said, I'm looking forward to next year as a Chicago Bulls fan. I want the best for this team. The team has good upside, good young players. Um, I don't know what moves can be made in the offseason to get better. Um, just make sure that's consistent in the guard spot. Um, maybe another wing, but we'll see. Um, thanks guys for checking out the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Guard pack, should we fire them or should we keep them? I know it's, everybody has their opinion. It's a real sensitive subject whenever you talk to Bulls fans, so we'll just have to see how this goes. Like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for checking out the video. And also, I invite you to check out my blog and follow me on social media. I will leave all the information below for you in the description box. Thanks, guys. Be blessed and have a great day.